If there's one game South African gamers have been wishing for for years, it's a good rugby game. Don't get me wrong, last generation we had some good attempts in the form of the Jonah Loma Rugby Challenge series. However, every South African wants a rugby game that we can call our very own Madden, even our very own FIFA, a polished experience that we can be proud of. Well, the good news is we have our very first next-gen rugby game in the form of Rugby 15. With next-gen horsepower behind it, as well as HB Studios who worked with EA on the previous winning rugby titles such as Rugby 07 and Rugby 08, the many call the best rugby games ever made, how could it fail? It's a win-win! An individual gem. He left defenders trailing in his wake. Rugby 15 has a few flaws. Make, make that a lot of floors. What kind of floors you say? Well, just uh, just take a look at this. Um, okay, what, what, what's going on here? I'm just kind of running around, doing my thing. Oh, no one's gonna stop me? Oh, thanks guys. Okay, maybe that was just beginner's luck. There's no way I can run through an entire defense again. I mean, I mean come on, right? Oh, don't mind, don't mind me guys, I'm just uh, running with the ball. You guys be cool. We are the blue balls after all, so I understand if you just wanna let us through. So as you guys can clearly see, the AI has some serious issues. And once you figure out the loophole, you can pretty much just run around anything in your path. It's kind of a problem. Kicking is handled by the right joystick by simply just flicking it back and then forwards. The scrums are also won by using the right joystick and you have to make a half moon shape while trying to push forward. It's pretty much bare bones and there's not much more to it than just moving the joystick in a half moon direction. As you've probably noticed by now, even though Rugby 15 is a next gen game, it is not pretty at all. And to prove to you I'm not just a blabbering graphics whore, I dug up some footage of Rugby Challenge 2 on the PS3. What do you think of this? It's got highly detailed crowds that move instead of just something that looks like it was smeared with Vaseline and the lighting looks pretty good overall. So I decided to push the boundaries a little and dug up some footage of Rugby 06. Strap in lads. Here it is again on the action replay. Is a deep breath. Is a deep breath. And there are three points. And just for the record, Rugby 06 came out eight years ago. However, it's not all bad. Believe it or not, when you're playing against a buddy on the couch with a few cold beers, Rugby 15 is tons of fun. It's not the kind of fun that's going to have you playing through the night, but for an hour or two, yeah, you'll have a good time with it. I actually physically tackled one of my buddies mid-game because he was beating me so badly out of Australia. So it's going to get that kind of rivalry going between you and your friends, which is kind of the point. So from that perspective, yeah, sure, HP Studios, you've done a good job. However, I'm still pulling out the red card on pretty much every other aspect of the game. That's, that's a whistle, by the way. At the end of the day, Rugby 15 is pretty much a great party game to play with a couple of friends on the couch, but not much more than that. It's got poor visuals, broken AI, and it hardly has any licensed teams. So sadly, HB Studios, although this was a good starting point, you really have to up your game for the World Cup edition next year. Dear gosh, up your game.
The inclusion of a first person mode as well as the tons of extras you get in the package are well worth the asking price. And it makes GTA 5 Remastered not only the best remastered game this year, but possibly even game of the year for a second year in a row.